Math Class Productions. Alright, today we're going to be sh the, the 8th grade class of 2013. Solution. It's going to be teaching you guys how to factor and solve quadratic equations. Mac and cheese. So, quadratic equations in the form a x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And we're going to look at quadratics where the x squared term has a coefficient of 1. Okay, here we have a quadratic x squared plus 10x plus 21 equals 0. And it's going to have two solutions that we'll be able to find by factor. So two numbers, it's kind of like a puzzle. We want to find two numbers that multiply to 21 and add to 10. So numbers that multiply to 21, we got 1 by 21, or the only other pair is 3 and 7. 3 times 7 is 21. And 3 plus 7 is 10. So to factor this quadratic, we can split it into x plus 3. And x plus 7. So x plus 3 times x plus 7 equals 0. And now, to make this product come out to 0, either this has to be 0, or this has to be 0. To make the left parentheses 0, x would have to be negative 3. To make the right parentheses 0, x would have to be negative 7. So those are our two solutions. Notice they're the opposite. They're the opposites of the two numbers we found to complete our puzzle. Alright, who wants to go? Look at the sky. Yes. Alright, here we go. Let's factor and solve the quadratic. First of all, we gotta find something that adds to negative three but multiplies to negative twenty-eight. Does anyone know? Well, I never know. Alright, so I think it's negative 7 and positive 4. That would equal to negative 3. Okay, so since we have factored, now one of these parentheses has to equal 0 because, you know, once you multiply, something has to equal 0. So, those possibilities could be negative 4 or positive 7. And that is your answer, people. You done it. I thought the world may have known. Yes? Well, well now the solution, does know. you always find the answer. Ooh. That's right. Ooh. So, when you multiply two polynomials, uh, like x plus 5, x plus 6, and you do the double rainbow. After you combine the like terms, here we got x squared plus 5x plus 6x plus 30. We have to combine 5x and 6x to get 11x. You'll notice when you expand it out, you get x squared plus 11x plus 30. And 30 is the product of 6 and 5. 11 is the sum of 6 and 5. And that's always going to hold true when you have just x at the beginning of your parentheses. So in the second example, x minus 4, x minus 11, the product of negative 11 and negative 4 is positive 44, and the sum of negative 4 and negative 11 is negative 15. So the pattern holds. In the final example, we have one positive number, one negative number. So their product's going to be negative. Positive 7 times negative 12 is negative 84. And their sum could be positive or negative. In this case, it's going to be negative because the negative number has the greater absolute value. So negative 12x plus 7x gets us negative 5x. Once again, the sum of these two numbers gets us the coefficient of our x term. So in this video, we're actually we're using this to work backwards from quadratics that look like this to factored quadratics that look like this. So this is why the trick we've been doing where you find two numbers that multiply to the third term and add to the coefficient of x works out. Any questions? He's covered uh, all the bases. Uh, 
Um, hi everybody, my name is Avi and I'm going to teach you how to solve quadratus by factoring. Okay, so the problem is x squared plus 7x minus 60. So now we have to figure out which two numbers add to 7 and which two numbers multiply to negative 60. Alright, think about it. Alright, cool. So, um, it's x plus 12 times x minus, oh, sorry, times x minus 5 equals 0. And I have to put equals 0 because it's an equation, and you can't solve an equation without a pointer. Um, so, because this is, we need to solve for 0, so um, in order for, it, for this solution to equal 0, one of them has to add up to 0. Does that make sense? So x is going to have to equal negative 12, or x could equal um, positive 5. And that's how you solve quadratic. Go Peter. Okay, so today we're solving quadratics by factoring, and here we have a tricky quadratic because it's got a big coefficient here. But the basic idea remains the same. It's like a puzzle where we're trying to find two numbers that multiply to 330 and then add to negative 37. Mr. Math. So if two numbers add to a negative and multiply to a positive, we know that both numbers have to be negative. So I'm going to use a little trick here. There's a lot of combinations that could add to negative 37. But if the two numbers multiply to a number that ends in 0, then one of them is going to end in 0 or 5. So let's see, I could, maybe I'll try 27 negative 27 times negative 10, but that equals 270, so that doesn't work. So let's try negative 22 and negative 15, because something that ends in 5 could produce a product that ends in 0. Well, 5 times 2 is 0, carry the 1, 5 times 2 is 10, that gets us 11, put a 0 down, 1 times 2 is 2, and add it up and you get, lo and behold, 330. So I've just found my two numbers, negative 22 and negative 15. Because they add to negative 37 and multiply to negative, I mean multiply to positive, excuse me, 330. So now I'm going to take those two numbers and put them inside parentheses. x minus 22, x minus 15 equals zero. So there's only one final step, which is the easiest step once you've got it factored. If two numbers multiply to zero, the product of two numbers is zero, either this has to be zero or this has to be zero. So we can say, therefore, that either x has to be 22 or x has to be 15. And those are the two solutions for this quadratic equation. Three, go. Hello, I'm Dr. Adam Up, and I'm gonna uh so <laughs> one, two, three, go. Hello, I'm Dr. Adam Up, and I'm gonna show you something called solving quadratics. With a little something I like to call. No, let's take a look. <laughs> it's good. There's a little method I like to call. I'm Dr. Adam Up and I'm gonna show you how to solve quadratics. A little me method I like to call by fasting. Get this up fast, you know. <laughs> so you want to find what two numbers that you can add equal 20. If you multiply those same numbers, you get 75. I came up with this. If you add 15 to 5, you get 20. If you multiply them, you get 75. And of course, A equals zero. So uh, you want to cross these out, right? And you want to get the opposite. That's what we're going to do. X can equal negative 5 or it can equal negative 15. So that's how you do it, man. Solving quadratics by factoring. Yeah, 
have a quadratic with fractional coefficients. x squared plus 1 fourth x plus 164 equals 0. So we want two numbers that multiply to 164 and add to 1 fourth. So, some, Jalen? Huh? Well, two numbers that multiply to 164 it could be 1 eighth times 1 eighth. Now we got to check if 1 eighth plus 1 eighth equals 1 fourth. Isn't it 2 eighths? It is 2 eighths, and that simplifies, thankfully, to, to, one fourth. to 1 fourth. So we actually have our, have our answer on this. Dimes. So we're going to factor out to x plus 1 eighth times x plus 1 eighth, or I'm just going to write like this. Instead of writing out the second parentheses, I'm just going to write x plus 1 eighth squared equals 0. So this is actually a quadratic that only has one solution. x equals negative 1 eighth. If we took this and plugged it back in here to the x terms and evaluated this expression, we would get 0. I feel good because you can't follow in the footsteps of a man with no feet. Amen.